Hello, in this lecture we will discuss, we will study the difference between memory map diode devices, input output devices or peripheral devices and IO map diode devices. IO we are using the term for peripheral, that is input and output. So, what exactly is the difference between memory map IO devices, peripheral devices and IO map IO devices. And we are discussing the difference here in context with 8085 microprocessor. The, the, the points which we are going to discuss will remain same in any microprocessor. The size will vary but the concept will remain same when we talk about when it comes to discussing or studying about the difference between uh, memory map diode devices and IO map diode devices. If we study the first point that is size. What will be size of memory map diode devices as its name suggests. What is the size of memory of 8085 microprocessor? 16 bit memory address. So its size will be 16 bit. And the size of IO map devices will be 8 bits. And therefore, how many maximum number of memory map diode devices we can have? 65536 devices. I means 65536 IO devices means what? 65,536 to the power 16 IO devices, memory map IO devices are possible. It very simply means that we calculate the number of memory locations, memory addresses, it comes to be 65,536 and each memory address will be connected to one of the IO devices. And therefore, the maximum number of IO devices which can be managed to managed in this memory map IO concept is 65,536. What about this one? We can have maximum 256 I.O. devices. How we get 256 devices? 2 to the power 8. So this is the first difference between memory map I.O. devices and I.O. map I.O. devices. Number 2. If we talk about the number of important, important instructions under each category. In I.O. map I.O. devices, there are two popular instructions. And there are only two popular instructions, in and out. In instruction is used for input operation and out instruction is used for output operation. To write and to read, uh, read respectively out and in. Whereas, in, under memory map I.O. devices, there are stay, LDA, INRM, these are INRM is, is the not the appropriate instruction here. Move, we can say move M to A. LDA and STA, how do we write that? In LDA and STA, we had 16 bit memory address. So, STA, LDA, where memory address, the device is connected, the device is located at 16 bit memory address. So, all these are example of, all these are example of this one. 2, 3 and many others are example of memory map diode devices whereas this in and out are the example under IO map diode devices. Let us go to third one. Third one will be, it's very simple, in in and out how many T states are there? We note that there are 4 machine cycle. Uh, in and out there are 3, 3, 3 machine cycles and therefore 10 T states are there. 10 T states are there 10 t states but in case of this like move m to a how many t states 7 and in these there are 13 so either 13 or 7 t states are there generally lda sta then then stax ldax these instructions are used in 13 t states are there so what we can say that more t states are required generally in memory map type devices in comparison with io map IO devices and uh, <clears throat> these are three main uh, uh, difference points between memory map devices and IO map IO devices and, and the number of IO devices we uh, can calculate also the, the how many maximum number of IO devices will be there under IO map 2 to the power 8 here it will be 2 to the power 16 many other things we can discuss about the uh, the memory map IO devices and IO map IO devices in terms of which one is slower, which one is faster. But these are the three points. Number one is the size, 
number one, uh, number two is instruction, and number three is T states. These are three basic. Number of machine cycles. There are three machine cycles always. In case of this, either two machine cycles or four machine cycles are required in memory mode IoT devices. Thank you.